Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel as today we take on Blackberry Farm Golf Course in Cupertino, California. This is a 9 hole course with 2 short par 4s and each green provides a challenge as the majority of them are crowned where the center of the green is the highest point. The first hole is the second longest par 3 playing 180 yards and have to muscle a 5 iron for your first shot with no warm ups almost never works for me. This course has one warm up green which put me in a good mood and seeing how pure the, of the condition it was. second hole and the first of the two sharp short par fours and you have to thread a needle to hit this narrow fairway. I decided to take the scenic route and end, ended up finding 10 golf balls just however none of them were mine. Second shot I hit my 150 club and it missed 20 yards long and almost banked it off the tree back onto the green. As you could tell by my great chip um, here I have a long bogey look and I actually like these greens. These greens are super pure. Um, gave me a long tester that I would like for double bogey and actually ended up draining it and the third hole is the short part three and it's a good time for you to talk about the price this course is only twenty dollars and for the same price as Emerald Hills in Redwood City you get to play a course with some pure greens and a variety of part threes each part three ranges from 93 yards as this hole all the way up to 190 yards on the last hole the fourth hole is stroke hole number one on this course and the last of the par fours. This one has a wider fairway and honestly I believe holes one, two, seven, and nine are all more difficult than this one. However, the green is probably the most difficult ones out here, especially where you put the pin today. Oh, that's good shot. Thank you. I ended up hitting the back part of this crown green and it kicked all the way into the rough. With the yips, I'm just happy to get this one on. Couldn't afford to leave it short and have to roll back down to my feet. Fifth hole and this shot actually ended up finding the green. However, just like the last hole, we hit the slope and rolled off left. This was filmed on a Sunday morning and there was not a lot of people out there. Pace of play was amazing. I would rate it a 10 out of 10. And from what my playing partner was saying, you can normally finish the course quickly. This long birdie look was more about speed and always happy to have a tap in par. And that excitement goes out the window after this tee shot. While you watch me struggle on this hole, I would like to give this layout a 7.5 out of 10. There's a lot of variety on the course with three par threes all over 170 yards and two of them are under 100 yards, which provides challenges for golfers at all levels. The third longest part three on the course, and with my pass holes it ended up going long, I ended up playing my 150 yard club and missed the green right. The net and parking lot scared me a lot and was scared to end up on the road, so I ended up bailing right, chipping to a short sided pin, which is never fun, and with, especially with the yips. But I can't complain about a par look, and just slides by for a bogey. Hole 8 is played right next to a covered hiking trail, and although I missed the green left, I made solid contact and didn't kill anyone. Okay. Consider that a success. My up and down percentage today is just as high as me getting a girlfriend, 0%. Hopefully they ended up changing this with a, bird, with a par look, and I don't know what I saw on this one, but another bogey. Last hole in what I believe is the hardest hole on the course oh, plays 190 uh, yards back into the clubhouse, yeah. and I decided to hit my best shot of the day. <laughs> yeah, normally. Putting back into what I believe is a driving range of the course, I end up finishing with a tap in par. Overall, I enjoyed this course, and I believe the greens are the next or the best part of this experience. And since this course is, this course is super affordable, I rate it 8.55, slightly above Crystal Springs. Even though it's not as nice, I definitely like it price-wise. Like and if you like this video, like and subscribe, and let me want and let me know where you want to see next.